are on the deck for the last time. We've packed and we're about to leave Costa Rica. I'm here with Dan. Dan's one of my greatest all-time inspirations on a lot of levels related to poi, flowing, flow arts, and the whole happy being happy plan. And uh, when I was writing the beginner series, he told me to make sure to tell people to do this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan from Flow Temple. What the very first thing that I recommend doing when you first pick up poi, very first time, is take your poi and hit yourself. Hit yourself over and over. Take five minutes that's longer than it feels like. Just hitting yourself, get used to it. Don't learn to stop being afraid of your poi. Ow! Oh, this poi's too hard and heavy! And if Ow. you are using poi that are too hard and heavy and hitting yourself sucks or makes you cringe, do yourself a favor and get some other poi. You're going to hit yourself when you're learning and you don't want your poi experience to suck. The other thing that I beg you to do for your own self five years down the road where you're looking back at your first poi experience, right now, you're a clean slate. You're, you've got what the Zen philosophers call beginner's mind. That means you're uninfluenced, you haven't learned anything, you are only coming from yourself. And take this time and cherish it. Play for a long time with no moves at all. Just swing them as, the, as it feels natural, like upward, downward, backward, forward, diagonally ways, together, apart, hands big, hands small. Think of it as the great glass elevator of poi. And when you do that, you are doing something you can never do again. Once you learn something, you can never ever go back to having unlearned it and practice poi with no influence. When you're playing with poi in this uninfluenced way, there is no right or wrong way. Lean into what feels good. Pay attention to how it feels. There's this new extension on the end of your arm. See how it feels. Explore it. There is, it's okay if you hit yourself, it's okay if you tangle it up, it's okay if you don't hit yourself and don't tangle it up. There is not a wrong way to do that. If there was one thing that I could change about my first poi experiences, it's that I wish somebody had told me that because I didn't do that for one second. I said, hey, can you show me some stuff? And the dude said, do this. And I did, and that was that. Yeah, I, too, I wish I had spent two days just playing, not knowing anything, and recording it. Because yeah. the next, the next per, you know, I bet the next few people who come along with some really fundamentally new poi ideas are going to be people who it was the stuff that they were doing before they learned anything will be the cool stuff. So yeah, yeah. There's plenty of time to learn moves later. You got all the time in the world, and this time is one that you can never have again. And basically, if you can just have fun swinging one and then two poi around, not knowing anything, you'll you'll have a lot of fun with poi. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So, so, this is what we do. And I say... We, uh, and you can do it with a friend. It's really fun to like tie it around their neck. If you have pets, you can chase them. <laughs> if you have furniture, you can find interesting ways to interact with it. It's actually really good for telling teachers that you haven't done your homework. Also, because you're blind with the <laughs>